This video will cover the steps to configure a WDS link wireless distribution system on the following Proxim or Noco access points. Uh, the AP9100 and the AP8000 series, which includes the AP8100, AP8800. All right, so the AP9100 uh, and AP8000 series, which is the 8100 and the 8800 series, they support two types of WDS. One is the legacy mode, uh, which basically indicates that uh, in this mode, they're able to communicate with the AP700, 4000 radios uh, using 20 megahertz bandwidth channel. Okay, um, you are only allowed to use web encryption as WPA and PA2 are not supported under legacy mode. All right, if you're looking for uh, any uh, any other speeds or higher like that, um, I highly recommend for you to, to uh, upgrade to the uh, either 9100 series or uh, the AP8100 access points. The second WDS mode is the 802.11 mode. In this mode, a WDS link can be established between two BSS supporting the IEEE 802.11 NA slash NG mode serving the association and authentication functionality. This mode supports the AES 128-bit encryption type to secure the data. In WDS 11N mode, each VAP can be configured in either. WDS endpoint A, the VAP enabled in this mode will act as a WDS enabled AP device and performs the standard AB functionality. Or WDS endpoint B mode, the VAP enabled in this mode will act as a WDS enabled station and perform the functions of a station slash client. To establish a WDS link, the following steps have to be configured on all WDS APs. Make sure that all APs that will participate in the WDS are set to the same frequency channel. The AP that's connected to the back end will be set to WDS and A. All other APs connected to the A radio will be set to WDS and B. After the WDS types have been established, to set up the WDS link, you're going to copy the BSSID from the A radio and you're going to paste it to the PMAC address in the B radio. And you're going to do the same thing going backwards. You're going to copy the BSSID from the B radio and you're going to paste it to the PMAC address in the A radio. This is going to establish your WDS link and it's going to keep on going from each radio that you're going to add to your WDS chain. It is required for all WDS links. All WDS APs must share the same security information. This is under the security profile name. Under security, wireless security, you'll be able to locate the authentication type. Then once click edit, you'll be able to select the type of encryption that you would like to use. To learn more about Proxim Wireless and our solutions, please visit us at Proxim.com or follow us at Twitter at Proxim.